Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is February the 4th, I'm sorry, February the 21st, 2021. And here we are to give you all the update on the chain. It is our purpose to ensure that we are in position to capitalize on price movement. We pay attention to the price bars and the volume. That is the only thing that matters in the market. I don't care what anyone else tries to tell you. It is not in articles. It is not in anticipation of a new protocol. It is only about supply and demand. What you and I are willing to pay for these currencies. And you all can see right here in the chain that obviously the demand in the V chain is apparent. The price chars, I'm sorry, the price bars do not lie. Once you look at the volume and the price bars on a daily price chart or whatever time frame you're looking at, it tells you everything you need to know as to what direction the market is anticipated to go. And we've been showing you all that since like 2017, predicting the market. So we want you all to join us, join this community, subscribe to this channel, hit the like button. Also subscribe, I mean, share the video as well to ensure that you are in tune with where the market is anticipated to go, period. So now you guys can see here for the chain, we did a price prediction in the market on February the 2nd, okay, which is right here. Now, we anticipated the strength to come to the market at that particular time. You all can see that that definitely came to fruition. What, two, three days into the market, VChain came to our ultimate TP price, which is around 12.13%. We caught that. We anticipated the market to go higher price. And even that, the market in VChain tested this prior area of restriction back in January on the 9th of February, which is around 22%. So let's say you forgot that you had VChain in your account on February the 2nd, and let's say you wanted to get out the market today. You'll be up 90% based off the anticipation of what we talked about on our video on February the 2nd. So that's congratulations. You were in position to capitalize on this price movement. While everyone else is guessing about where the market is anticipated to go, we had a leg up upon everyone else. That is done. That is over. Now, I know a lot of you may be wondering, OK, can this trend continue in the market in VeChain? Let's talk about that right now. So now you guys can see here that we created this ascending line, right? Following the trend into the market in VeChain and the market in VeChain literally took off like a rocket. It took off from the landing zone of about three cents, three and a half cents and shot straight higher. And it hasn't stopped yet. Now, we need to utilize this line. Seeing that the market in VeChain is not even trading around a penny anymore, we need to utilize the trend to the market in VeChain. Now, this is monumental. I mean, the market in VeChain is definitely breaking the trend. All right, let's do this. Okay, we're going to hold this here. Now, I want you all to pay attention to what has occurred into the market in VeChain over the last uh, right here. OK, we need to look at the market over the last couple of days in this vicinity right here because it tells us a lot. I mean, look at the market, look at the spread, look at where the price bars closed. It tells us that there has been selling going on in the market in VeChain right here around six cents all the way down to a nickel. It has been. But you know what hasn't occurred when you see this much selling going on into the market in VeChain, when you see these amounts of days to where the market is selling, but the market is not dipping, there is enough buyers going on or there's enough buying going on into the market in VeChain in this vicinity. So that lets us know in anticipation that the higher price is not gone. It is still here in the market in the chain, right? Which goes right alongside this ascending trend. If the trend was about to break all of these days that the market and V chain was selling, the reaction would be for the market to continue to go lower and lower in price because there's no one willing to buy V chain. But apparently there are. There are individuals here in the market in V chain that is willing to purchase this currency at these prices. You can see it on the three day time frame as well. 
that even though the selling went on into the market, the V chain, there's enough buyers into the market that is willing to prop up the price that is willing to increase the value of V chain. Same thing on the weekly time frame. The weakness that came into the market the week of February the 8th, 2021, yeah, it bled into the current price bar. It did. But look where the market is currently closed at. Okay. Only issue that you can see here that I want to put on your radar is right here, six cents. That is restriction. That is the only thing that places a lid on the progression of how high V chain is going to go. All right. So even though we're going to anticipate the market and V chain to continue to go higher in price, we need to be watchful of the last restriction point, which is six cents, that has held back the market from going higher. Looking at this market in V-Chain on a 13 hour bar, there's still something going on to the market. So we got to be a little bit more vigilant in terms of, okay, the longer that we continue to see this market in V-Chain reflect weakness in selling, the more impact it's going to have in the progression of the movement lower, right? So right now, the market is healthy in terms of with the amount of selling we're seeing on this price chart. But if we continue to see this action, it's going to become less and less likely that V-Chain is going to go higher. Okay, so we need to see this market become breakout-ish. It should break out relatively soon in order to alleviate all of the selling that is going on right now. Nine hour chart. You guys can see it right here as well. There is weakness here. There is selling going on. Seven hour chart. Same thing. You all can see right now that this area is holding back the market first. So we have two areas of restriction identified that is holding back the chain of going higher in price, right? Right here around five and a half cents to six cents. Okay. You can see right there on a 15 hour chart. Market is giving us weakness. Now, what we're going to do in this video, we're going to continue to play the strength though. Even though we understand that the market in V chain is weak at the moment, we're going to continue to play some of the strength here. Okay. As long as this market in V chain trades above five cents, I'm going to dip it down just a tad lower to the lows that came in on the 13th and the 14th of February. And we're going to play the strength into the market. Six cents is restriction. So obviously we need to skim off. A little bit of profit right there which is about nine and a quarter percent in v chain that's it we're in position okay now what do you all think do you all think the market in V-Chain is going to go higher in price or do you think it's going to go lower? Let everyone know in our community, what do you see on the price chart? And don't make it confusing. All that technical indicator that people utilize is pointless and useless. Simply tell us where do you expect price to go in V-Chain over the next two weeks? And where would you take the lick? Where would you take the bag at? And don't make it complicated. Our community is not about complication. Now, you know what to do. Make sure you maintain a profitability. Trade different.